<laughs> this is so great. Lighting change. Wow. Oh, yeah, we can wow. put the light anywhere. And it doesn't feel awkward to be really close to you. No, it does. I actually moved you. I moved you back a few feet before you got into well, the headset. You were like right here. I don't know if people can see this, but this is incredible. The realism here is just incredible. Where am I? Where are you, Mark? Where 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 are we? You're in Austin, right? No, I mean this place. <laughs> we're we're shrouded by darkness with ultra realistic face, and it just feels like we're in the same room. This is really the most incredible thing I've ever seen. And sorry to be in your personal space. I mean, we have done jujitsu before. Yeah, no, I was I was commenting to the team before that, even that we, I, I feel like we've choked each other from further distances than it feels like we are right now. <laughs> I mean, this is just really incredible. I don't know how to describe it with, with words. It really feels like it feels like we're in the same room. Yeah, it feels like the future. This is yeah. truly, truly incredible. I just wanted to take it in. I'm still getting used to it. It's like, it's you, it's really you, but you're not here with me, right? You're there wearing a headset and I'm wearing a headset. It's, it's really, really incredible. So what um, can you describe what it takes currently for us to appear so photorealistic to each other? Yeah, so I mean, for, for background, we both did these scans for uh, this research project that, that we have at Meta called Kodak Avatars. And the idea is that instead of actually, instead of our avatars being cartoony, um, and instead of actually transmitting a video, what it does is we've sort of scanned ourselves and a lot of different expressions, and we've built a computer model of sort of each of our faces and, and bodies and uh, the different expressions that we make and collapse that into a, a codec that then when you have the headset on your head, it can, it, it sees your face, it sees your expression, and it can basically send um, an encoded version of what you're supposed to look like over the wire. So, um, so in addition to being photorealistic, it's also actually much more bandwidth efficient than transmitting a, a full video or especially a 3D immersive video of, of a whole scene like this. And it captures everything, like the flaws, like to me, the subtleties of the human face, like even the flaws, that's like, that's all amazing. It makes you, uh, it makes it so much more immersive. It makes you realize that like perfection isn't the thing that leads to immersion. It's like the little subtle flaws, like freckles and like variations in color and just yeah, wrinkles, all stuff asymmetry. about noses. Yeah, asymmetry and just yeah. the different like the corners of the eyes, like what your eyes do when you smile, all that kind of stuff. 